Welcome back, everybody. So we hang out with the Jacksonville Sharks a lot. And so, you know, we finally decided to bring them into our house to hang out as opposed to me going out there. So, hey, guys, I really appreciate right. you being good here today. Here. Oh, again. Good how you again. doing? Oh, man, it's good to see you guys. All right. And so uh, uh, this is the Vice President Dave Gleason. Sorry, guys. Uh, so first first and foremost, right, what what do football players do in the offseason? Like, what do you guys do in the offseason? <laughs> Lift a lot of weights, <laughs> do a lot of training. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's, I tell people, there's more work to do from August to March than there is from March to August. Right, so that, yeah, yeah I, I hear that a lot with football players, right? So we, we work really, really hard through the week. We practice incredibly hard, so that way when we get to the game, it's muscle memory and it's quote-unquote easier, right? Like, right. if we practice hard enough, and the game right. isn't quite so quite so hard, so that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, I golf think season's that. a monster. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so do the Sharks partner with anybody in the community to put on, you know, events throughout the year? Well, if I, yeah, yes, we do. If uh, if a, a school, uh, a business, a nonprofit calls us and says, "Hey, we'd like to, uh, we're doing an event. Can you bring Chum, yeah. which is our our mascot? Can you bring our second mascot, Finn? Can you bring some players that are still in town? Absolutely. Um, and we'll be there. And you know, we spend a lot of time in the community when the season uh, when the season's over. Gotcha. Okay, cool. As much as we can. So that's how that's what they do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we do. So okay, so the Jacksonville Sharks Foundation started what a, a year ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the mission? Wow, I mean, yep. get, you know, give back to the community. I mean, that's the, the number one goal. I mean, you go to the website, jacksonvillesharksfoundation.com. I think that's what it is. I hope I don't get that one wrong. That's right. Um, but there's a lot of different programs. You know, we did some youth football last year. We do an empathy challenge. I think you're going to touch on. We do leadership programs. We do vet ticks. Um, we do a lot. And we're looking to, to expand on it this year. We've got a lot of programs, especially going into 2025. Some things we're really going to be, be proud to announce. Our monies that go to the foundation, we turn over and buy tickets for veterans and their families to come to our games. Okay. That's our number one mission right now. I love that mission. Okay, so let's talk about the empathy challenge, right? Let's piggyback on that. So how could a teacher book a talk for their school? And like a little bit more like what is the empathy challenge? Well, the uh, first thing, the answer uh, to book it, all they have to do is either call us 621-0700 okay. or go online click on the foundation button and then and then just book it and we will it's more set up for middle schools okay um, six seven or five six seventh and eighth year olds um, but it just takes a couple weeks we'll come in and do and you know put on a good show for the kids yeah so what does that show entail well the players come in and they talk about they it's an empathy challenge they talk about you know not supposed to say bullying but you know anti-bullying and things like that and the players come in they do about a 20 minute presentation for the students and for the and for the teachers classes and then they sit and they answer questions it's really good and the kids get to see it and the players talk about prior experiences and some of these guys have had some experiences in school that they they, they get to share yeah. And the kids get, you know, get to hear it and ask questions. It's great. Yeah. We sort of put them on a 21-day. We know that kids, you need 21 days to change a habit. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk to them about what they need to do for the next 21 days. First thing is always show respect. Second is pr protect each other. Third is do your best. And the fourth is be yourself. And we need them to do that for 21 days and think we can change some attitudes. That's very cool. Yeah, the impact of football players, when, especially when you're yeah. a kid and you meet right. them, is so next level. Yeah. It's really neat. I mean, they're hu I, I'm a normal sized dude, yeah. and they are huge. When you're a little guy, they're like, they're like these super powered beings, man. It's amazing. Yeah. It's really cool. And I actually got a chance, like, you know, coach, I've gone out and played with you guys a couple of times. Yep, I remember. Listen, you guys are real athletes. Look at that. There we go. That's why I play for you guys, huh? Look at Big Country. He's so big. Oh, this is probably my favorite part. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing football anytime soon. So, That's hey, good. guys. That's good. God, I remember that. That was great. <laughs> it was such a good day. Oh, man. All right, so, guys, one more time. Where can I send folks for more information? 621-0700 or jacksharks.com. Excellent. Thank you so very much, guys. I really right. appreciate it. Thank you. Good Coach, you again. See you practice. Season. Yeah, you got Good it, practice. man. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some like. <laughs> I need so much <laughs> physical therapy if I play with you guys. I